I think it's pretty obvious I'm a huge H.R. Geiger fan. I find his work pretty mind-blowing, um, where everything looks organic and alive, but in a very cerebral context. Working on uh, numerous projects with this company called Nathan Love, who are known for their zany commercials. I was, I was pretty enchanted by their hallmark of this quirky ridiculousness that everyone knows them for. I feel this might have rubbed off on me, and it's evident in some cases of the game. That Nathan Love, uh, the founder, Joe Buriscano, uh, he was always really ex extremely passionate about stop motion. Um, everything the company produced was always pushed to have a uh, handcrafted feel, as though it were made from scratch, no matter how detailed or simple it was. The initial concept for the game uh, came from just doodles. Uh, in my spare time, uh, simple game mechanics for fun. Uh, as I developed these concepts, the game just started taking a life of its own. Generally, a, a common theme that I, I always strive to push is this notion of creating a strong juxtaposition between warm, lighthearted versus cold and grotesque. In general, uh, most of the influences uh, just come from being an avid gamer since the 80s, or I mean, as, as long as I can remember. The Guardian Legend, Mega Man, Earthrim Gym, uh, Earthbound, you know, some of the games that have uh, impacted me personally the most. Many of the concepts and the designs used in the game were initially just um, pet projects I've been developing over the years as a freelancer. A lot of the uh, stop motion y feel can uh, also be attributed to the game's uh, graphical asset, which are designed to represent set pieces rather than uh, a tile set, which you would expect to see in most platformers. In general, I, I find it quite rare for most 2D games to have a, a high level of graphical fidelity. You know, most, most games today will either go one of two routes. They'll go like pixel art or this um, kind of diorama style 2.5D rendered with uh, Unity or Unreal. I really wanted to make a true 2D game right from the get-go that utilized a lot of the tricks and quirks used back in the 16-bit era before any 3D really came along. This includes things like uh, everything being read from sprites, tiled parallax backgrounds, and basic pixel fragment shaders. In addition, I wanted to use, utilize what I've learned uh, over the years to give it that extra flair. For the bosses, there's a wide spectrum of uh, inspiration. I guess commonality between most of the bosses are their gritted teeth. Several years ago, like uh, while I was living in New York, I'd, I would often take uh, trips out to this place called uh, Five Points uh, out in Queens. They're pretty known for their uh, their, their murals, and, and there was, was one uh, particular mural uh, that struck me the most. It was basically this heart with uh, the most egregious, striking grin I'd ever seen. Um, and this was the initial thinking behind Mr. Smiles, and later got me thinking, what if there was this entire alien race army of gruesome, faceless grin monsters? Another boss, Sign or Sin for short, was uh, one of the characters from my senior thesis project back at the School of Visual Arts. Another one is the Creeper, which was uh, inspired by the Ohm from Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind. Uh, I mean, going back, uh, this concept has been similarly inspired by many games uh, like Crystallis or Metal Slug. I've been a huge fan of uh, Mega Drive for years now. Um, in fact, you know, just 80s synthwave in general. Uh, during production, I swapped in many varieties of music. Uh, however, I always kept coming back to you know, Mega Drive. I felt his work fit the best for what I was going for. Well, that's my game. It's been a long labor of love, and I hope you enjoy playing it.